Hello students, welcome to engineering assignments. In engineering assignments, we were studying a subject called as design and analysis of algorithms. The short form is DA. In some universities, it is also called as analysis and design of algorithms, EDA. And in some university, the KTU, according to 2019 scheme, it is called as algorithm analysis and design, that is ARD. Before going into deep about the design and analysis of algorithms, first thing we have to learn is that what is an algorithm. As a computer science student, you will be knowing what is an algorithm. So once again, I am repeating the definition of the algorithm. That is, an algorithm is a finite set of instruction that is used for accomplishing a particular task. So you all know that before writing a program, you have to write an algorithm. See, we are living in a world of computers. So whatever you are doing, whatever applications you are using in your real life is related to algorithm and programs. For example, you are using a Google map. So Google map will be showing uh, 7 minutes slower, 5 minutes slower and they will be showing the shortest distance to a particular place. It is basically done with the help of shortest path algorithms. I am going to give you a real world scenario that suppose you are going to build a house. What you will do first? You will make a plan. After making this plan, you will implement it and you start building the house. See, if you are not drawing a plan, what will happen? Each and every time any modification is required, you will have to destroy that building and construct it again and again. So better is go for a plan and after you are satisfied with the plan, you start building a house. Similarly, you can relate it with an algorithm. So the algorithm is like your plan and the program will be like your construction. So before writing a program, you must write an algorithm for the program. Okay? Most probably, all the algorithms will be written using a natural language. To design a better program, we need an algorithm. Now let us deal with the steps of problem solving. First thing, whenever you get a problem, what you will do? You will have to understand the problem statement. We have to create an algorithm carefully for a given problem. The algorithm then will be converted into programming language. You can use any programming language like C, C++, Java and all. Then you give it to some computing device. The computer then execute this algorithm which is actually submitted in a form of a source program. So this algorithm will be converted into source program. Next, during the process of execution, it requires certain inputs which helps the algorithm to get a result as an output. So you might have got some concept about an algorithm. Now let us check what are the criteria or what are the properties or what are the characteristics of an algorithm. The first property or the first characteristics of an algorithm is the algorithm should have an input. The algorithm can have zero or more quantities as the input which is externally supplied. So you can see that the input can be zero input like for example, a hello world program. In this, you are not giving any input. You are just printing hello world. And there may be more quantities which will be supplied as input. For example, suppose you want to find the sum of two numbers. Then you can supply two numbers as the input. Next one is output. So, an output of an algorithm should have at least one quantity. So, at least one quantity must be produced. If you don't want any output, then why to write the program? Next is definiteness. Each instruction, whatever you are writing in algorithm, should be clear and unambiguous. Suppose you are going to read two numbers. Say read A, read B and sum is equal to A. See, the steps of this instruction is never clear. Now, finiteness. If we trace out the instruction of an algorithm, then the algorithm must terminate after a finite steps. The steps must be countable also. Suppose you are writing while 1 and you are giving uh, some statement to get printed in it. It will be an infinite loop and it is not going to end until you forcefully terminate it. See, if you are not getting any output, then what is the use of using such type of algorithm? 
okay so whenever you are writing an algorithm there should be a finite step and it should complete within a finite amount of time next is effectiveness so every instruction must be very basic so that it can be carried out by a person using only pen or pencil and paper and all the unnecessary statements for example you are going to read two numbers in which the first step is start okay the second step is read a the third step is read b all right next in the fourth step i am going to find out the sum of a plus b next in the fifth step i am going to print the sum and the sixth step i am going to end this program this is a very simple and effective program because the output of this program will be the sum of two numbers a and b suppose i am going to add one more step read c see i haven't used c in my entire algorithm anywhere i haven't used then why to write this read c so this unnecessary statements and all should be avoided here okay so your algorithm should be effective understood so what are the properties of the an algorithm or what are the characteristics of an algorithm the characteristics of an algorithm should be it should have an input or it may not have an input it should have an output and definiteness should be there finiteness should be there and it should be very much effective also so that's all about the intro to the algorithm and the characteristics or properties of the algorithm thank you students thank you for watching my video